Hello everyone, my name is Kirill, you are on the Auto Advisor channel. Today we will talk about the gas equipment for a car, which is installed on ordinary cars. Dear friends, the majority on our channel watch us without a subscription, and this is so-so. Therefore, if your red button is on, be sure to press it so that it turns grey in the end. It turns out who would have thought that the gas is on fire. What a twist! Therefore, gas can be used as a fuel for an internal combustion engine. The military especially likes such chips. Since military vehicles must run on various types of fuel, for example, the same tank must run on everything that is found in the war. There are aviation fuel, kerosene, alcohol, gas and something else. There are two types of gas. These are methane and propane butane. Since methane itself is more expensive and the equipment that is installed on the car is also more expensive, most of the market uses propane butane. In fact, gas equipment for a car can be installed on both gasoline and diesel engines. Well, it is easier to install it on a gasoline engine, since in order for the gas to work, an ignition system is necessary. It is necessary to set fire to it in the diesel engine, as you know, there is no ignition system. There, the diesel fuel is ignited by the high compression temperature. Therefore, there are several ways to put gas on diesel engines. The first way is to install an ignition system on a diesel engine. But this is in fact just a provision, since we are turning diesel engines back into a gasoline one. The second way is mixing gas and diesel fuel. First the diesel fuel ignites, and then the gas itself ignites, but the method itself is so-so for economic, because we can't drive on clean gas, since we are mixing as it were two types of fuel. The first major advantage is economy, since gas at the gas stations is cheaper than any fuel, so if you drive more than two or three thousand kilometers in a month, then over time you will pay for this gas equipment. Equipment. The second plus, as noted by many experts, is an increase in the life of the engines, since gas itself is a more benign fuel and the engine runs, so to speak, in a softer mode. Although now many will remember that there are a lot of articles that says that gas on the contrary kills the engine. But I want to argue that this happens only when the gas equipment is incorrectly configured or it is operated incorrectly. The fact is that many in pursuit or efficiency are specially set up so that there is a combined gas mixture. At the same time the gas consumption decreases, but in fact the gas continues to burn at the moment when the valve are already opening. Therefore, it is in this case that a situation may arise when the valves can burn out. Of course, gas equipment has its drawbacks. The first disadvantage is that, in fact, we still turn in the design of the car and install some kind of equipment. At the same time, this equipment costs a certain amount of money and also needs to be serviced regularly. The second disadvantage is the features of operation you must understand when you need to turn on gas equipment and how to use it. And also many people forget that gas equipment reduces the dynamism of the car as it were. If earlier your gasoline car accelerated well, you could overtake someone from the intersection, then on gas this effect is reduced. And the third minus is the safety of this moment. Many are afraid because some argue that the car can stink of gas, it can explode and so on. All these problems arise only in one case when this equipment is faulty. Therefore, by the way, I said that it is necessary to regular service. If you have any leaks and this gas mixed with air and something else, someone ignited it, then of course it all can explode. Many also fear explosions in accidents. I want to say, in order to blow up the gas bottle, it is necessary to strongly deform it. But even with such deformation, most likely no all will remain alive in the car inside the cabin. And now let's talk about gas equipment. It is rather conventionally divided into a generation now, as if the sixth generation of gas equipment has already appeared on the market, for propane butane. If we consider historically, then the development was as follows. Usually a gas bottle is installed in the trunk. Inside this gas bottle, the gas is under pressure, so it is in a liquid state. Then the so-called pressure-reducing valve was installed on the first generation of gas equipment. 
which converted the liquid phrase into a gaseous one and already in a gaseous state. The gas entered the engine intake manifold. But in this case there were certain design problems, since the gas cooled the pressure reducing valve during never operation. He cooled so much that the liquid was specially brought to him in order to keep his warm. Also on the first generation of gas equipment, special gas nozzles were installed, which were supposed to spray this gas. But over time they began to understand that if a gasoline engine has original nozzles, then why install gas once? Let's use the ones already installed. Therefore, now the latest generation of gas equipment, the gas is already in a liquid state is supplied to these nozzles which spray it. But don't forget that in this case it is necessary to install an additional pump, which will supply gas to the injectors under certain pressure. In addition, as I said, gas equipment is quite expensive. It also depends on the generation. For example, the sixth generation costs about a few thousand euros. Therefore, be careful and calculate the economic feasibility of installing gas equipment. If you drive less than two or three thousand kilometers per month, or or going to sell the car, it doesn't make sense to install gas at all. If you ask my opinion whether it is worth installing gas equipment on a car, then you should be critical here. If you have a new car, then this doesn't make sense, because you fly off the warranty and then you won't know how to sell it. But if you have a used car and you regularly wind up large runs per month or walk in some kind of commerce, then it, this is expedient. That's all what I wanted to say about gas equipment. So give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and all the best to you and see you soon.